Okay, so Double Board Omaha. It is a flop game, hence the black placard. Uh, it's actually a flop game times two, hence the term Double Board. Uh, it is a split pot game, but unlike Omaha 8 or better, where there's a high hand and a low hand, there's just two high hands. It actually plays like PLO bomb pots. Uh, so when people play Pot Limit Omaha, oftentimes when the dealer changes, they'll run two flops and they'll play Pot Limit. This game is Limit. Just like PLO, you deal four cards down to each player. Then you're going to spread two flops after there's a round of betting. Then you're going to burn, do two turns, betting, burn, two rivers. And the high winner on each hand gets a share of the pot. So let's take a look at a hand together. All right, so we're going to pick up as if we had already dealt everybody their four cards. Pre-flop betting ensued, and now I did a burn and both flops. It's worth noting, too, that I don't burn after each flop. I just do one burn for both flops. Same for turn and river. A little sloppy there. It's also worth noting that even though I'm dealing from the wrong side, uh, it you call the flop farthest away from the dealer the top flop. So for now, we'll just say the one you're looking at, Ace, King, Four, that would be the top flop and the bottom would be the bottom. So people would say I have uh, something on top and something else on bottom. Uh, here's the turn card. It changes the board dynamics a lot. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop the action and I'm going to bring over the three hands that are involved uh, just to show the dynamics. So we actually have pocket aces. Uh, for a set of aces on the top board and a nasty little wheel draw on the bottom board with that ace three. Uh, we also have a double wrap, uh, monster wrap, hearts, plus the queen jack 10 for uh, basically a three-way straight, and then clubs and the eight queen uh, for flush draw on the bottom. So just a monster wrap. And then this guy has a, a set of eights on the bottom, but also with that seven of hearts, he picked up a backdoor straight wrap. Uh, and let's see, we gather in all the bets. It's important that you stack as you're going so you don't waste a lot of time each hand or at least do some amount of stacking before the river. And we do the river. Ooh, nasty little card. And yeah, things have changed quite a bit. So uh, you drop the deck and we're assuming more betting ensues, but we can see exactly what happened here. It's not pretty for those pocket aces. Uh, they made a wheel on the bottom flop, but that is no good uh, because clubs is beating it. And as far as the top board, that six came in for that little inside straight wrap that he backdoored. Didn't win with the pocket eights on the bottom, but picked up a nasty little straight wrap. So it's a split pot game. Uh, half the money goes there, the other half goes there. 